Hello and welcome to my GetResponse autoresponder tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to create an autoresponder in GetResponse, obviously. It's very easy to do and if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description and if you click that, you can actually get a free account to GetResponse so you can follow along pretty easily. Let's begin. So the first thing, what you want to do once you have your free account, you want to go to Tools and then Autoresponders. Now, make sure you have a specific list that you want to select. For this, I just have GetResponse Tutorials. It's like a brand new one, so I can just create from scratch in case you are starting there as well. And once you have your specific list set up, simply go to Create Autoresponder. For this, I'm just going to do by myself. I'm just so used to doing this that I think it's easy to do. If you want to go with AI, feel free to, but let's go with by myself here. All right, so let's walk you through the process here. This is just going to be the name of it where it'll appear on the list of your messages. Only you will see it. Just to make your life easier, I like making this the same as the actual subject line. So I have one already. I'm going to put it in. Click here to access what you requested. So I am using this specifically because people opt in, say, for a lead magnet, something that's going to be free. And I like putting this because, one, they're looking for what they requested. And two, it's also a call to action when you say click here. The chances are higher that someone is going to do that. So make sure you have your linked list right here with the specific list you're going to be using. So since this is the first message we're going to be using here, we want to make sure it's on day zero and same time as sign up. So what happens is they enter their email. It's going to be sent just about right away. Sometimes there's a little bit of a delay, right? Like 10, 20, 30 seconds, maybe a minute. So we also want to keep it on every single day. You don't want to change this around because if you do only Fridays, it's not going to go out automatically. All right. We have our from name, our reply to, that's going to be normal. And we have the subject line just to make my life easier. I like using it the same as the title here. Click here to access what you requested. Now we're simply going to the design aspects and content. So let's click on right here for design message. All right, and I don't know about you, but I like blank templates. The fact of the matter is, at least from what I've seen, the more images you add to your emails, the higher the chances that they're gonna be sent to the sin bin, AKA the spam box. I don't know about you, but I don't want that. So I'm just gonna go with blank templates here. I'm gonna go with the absolute blankest of them all. Let's go with this one and click on use template. All right, so first and foremost, don't even need a logo, not a big deal. I'm gonna go with that. And since we have drop blocks here, what we can do is take our text. That's all we're really gonna be using. We're gonna drop it right here. And I have my email, let me load it up here. This is gonna be my personal follow-up and I'm just gonna copy all of this. I'm gonna paste it in. This really isn't about, you know, like what to put in the specific email, but I will be talking about it, you know, with you. So let me just reformat this so it looks a little bit better. All right, so here's the email. What I like doing personally is using shorter and choppier sentences. You'll notice how there's usually never like two more lines. I use a lot of ellipses and I like breaking it up using bullet points. It just looks so much easier to read. I've always been this way when it comes to writing, say articles as well on websites. I just think it's much easier to take in. Ideally, you don't want it like to look like a wall of text, you know, like it's an essay. It's much harder to read and people aren't going to read it if that's the case. So I'm going to go over this. I know this is for autoresponders, but this is a follow-up. So if you want to utilize a template like this to get up and running, feel free to. Okay. So it says, I want to personally welcome you to this digital marketing family. It's an honor to have you. It's kind of like, congratulations. Thank you for signing up. I know you're anxious to access what you requested and you can do that by clicking the link down below. So You'll notice right here, this is going to be the same as the subject line. So if someone there's if someone clicks on the subject line to open this, the chances are going to be much higher that they're also going to click on this, especially if they're looking for a free gift, right? Here's how we can add links. So we highlight what we want to add for a link. We go right here. I'm just going to put www.marketingisle.com. I'm just, you know, obviously this is not exactly where it goes. I'm not going to give you access to my secret free gifts <laughs> just yet, but... I put you'll also find some unannounced bonuses there too. This is also a nice little strategy that I'd recommend you, you know, partake in. If you are giving out a lead magnet, when you send them to the thank you page, just add a little bit more. You know, it doesn't hurt, especially if you have a lot of content or valuable videos, tutorials that you can add. I think your subscribers will and your audience will just like that. Okay. Now I get why building a digital business has been such a challenge. I went through my own challenges so I can relate. This is just talking about what they're going through right now and relating to them. That's why I'm going to help out with topics such as, and it leads into just give them an idea of what you're going to be talking about in your follow-up emails, things you're going to help with overall throughout the future, okay? Finding and validating your perfect niche. So whatever your niche is, what's something that they need help with, let them know in this email. And of course, you can talk about that in your follow-ups, in your broadcast, whatever it's going to be, right? Oh, and don't forget about demos, tutorials, and reviews, all for tools that help you build and grow as a digital marketer, just like the one here, right? So I think, um, so I hope you'll lend me some of your time. I think I can help. That's it for now. Talk soon. Pretty simple stuff, right? So 
Uh, not a whole lot going on, and that's a good thing. I, I love simplicity when it comes to software overall. In case you are wondering, you'll notice it's in the middle. Maybe you're like me and you're all super OCD. <laughs> what you want to do is go to message style right here. And with the width, let's go back this way. If we hit it a few times, we can have it more to the left. Like you probably don't have to, I mean, you could do it all the way over. Maybe like right there. I think that looks just fine. So when they open it up, it's going to be good to go. So we can also test and preview if needed. We can just do an inbox preview right here. You can do a spam check. Let's check this out. Good to go. There's a little chance your message will land in a spam folder. You can still check the details below to see if there's anything to improve or send away. So it looks really good. Um, I've been doing this for a while, so I know what a lot of the spam triggers are. If you'll notice, I don't think I use the word free. Okay, I didn't use congratulations. And the reasons for that is because a lot of spammers will use those like congratulations, you just won money from a Nigerian prince. You didn't, you know what I mean? It's just a lot of these send like spam signals or their spam traps, whatever it's going to be going on. But I haven't used anything like that. I just put click here to access what you requested. I didn't say click here to get your free gift. I also didn't say congratulations. Thank you for being a part of the market. I didn't say make a million dollars or anything crazy like that. So nevertheless, that's going to be the main stuff here. Obviously, business as usual, if you want to bold, uh, if you want to underline, you want to cross out, you want to change the font, the size, and so on and so forth. But I love keeping my emails pretty much basic and simple. Increase your chances of getting in the inbox, and I think that's what you want the most, right? So let's just go with next. Okay, so that's going to be that one. We have just the title, what you're going to be seeing. It goes out on zero, so right after they sign up. This is the subject line. Spam checks, we're good to go. You want to make sure you keep the clicks on. Okay, that's going to show like your click-through rate. Uh, if you want to hook up with Google Analytics, you can. But let's click on Save and Publish. All right, and our autoresponder has been published. And the cool thing is that all we have to do is repeat this process. That's the great thing about autoresponders. I've had, let's see, I think when I did this tutorial last time, I don't remember. There was an image of it. I want to say I had like around 70, 75 days worth of autoresponder. So whenever someone opted in up to 75 days, I didn't have to do anything because the work was already done. That's the beauty of it. This is kind of like automating email. Okay. You can also send broadcast too, which I can do another tutorial about, but let's just add one more just to make sure you were really clear with the process. Let's click on create autoresponder again. Let's go by myself. All right, so for this one, I'm just gonna be doing how to 2X your sales, just a plain example, okay? Now this one, as you can see here, once again, I like doing same time as sign up time. This is beneficial because you know that they're going to be online. Well, they're not always going to be online, but for example, let's say someone came home from work, they're browsing around at 6 p.m. Eastern time, they signed up for your lead magnet. What that means is that one day after that same time around 6 p.m., that's when the email is gonna go out. So I like keeping it at this, so I don't like adding a delay or anything like that. It's just always gonna be one day later. So. The first email was day zero, quote unquote, day zero immediately. So this can be any other time you want. If you want to do an email a day, you would do one here. Next one, you would do two, then three, then four. If you wanted it to do every two days, this would be two. The next one would be four and so on and so forth. You don't have to do perfect intervals. It's really up to you. If you have so many emails you want to write, doing an email a day is perfectly fine. You know, It's really up to you. So a lot of this is going to be same. We have our from here. Let's add our subject line. Okay, and there is our subject line. If you want to be cool, <laughs> like the cool kids, you can add some emojis here. Uh, let's see. Let's just do like trophy. Sure, something like that. All right, I think that is, there we go. So something like that in case you want to add that. And once again, let's design our message. I'm going to go a little bit quicker here. So we have blank templates. We have our blank template here once again. And you can actually save templates so that you don't need to go through and like do this every single time. But I have an email here. Let's add our a block. So we have text. There's also some other things in case you want to use them. But I think this is just going to get the job done for you. Let's paste it in. Okay, I just went to chat GPT and had it create an email for me. I'm not going to go through with like, you know, making it look professional and so on and so forth. But let's say our email is done there. You know, we could also, let's see, one more thing. We go to message style. And remember before we kind of moved it over this way. And one more thing too, let's just say you love the way this email looks, like the settings of it, how it's set up on the left side, you know, no logo, no pictures. This is how you do it, save as my template. So whenever you go to choose a template, there's a section that says my templates. This is where you'll find it, okay? So let's say we like our email. What we can do is click on next. And this is going to go out on day one. Looks great. Good to go. And just like that, let's save and publish. 
And just like that, that's going to be the second email in your autoresponder series. And you can see how the process would just carry on and carry on. Okay. Status means it's going to be sent when anyone goes through. And of course, cycle the next day you can maybe do on day three or day four. It's really going to be up to you, but that's going to be the process. I hope that helps you out when it comes to the get response autoresponder tutorial. Pretty straightforward once you know how to set it up. And like I said, it's great knowing that you can actually automate the email aspect of your online business, saving you a lot of time where you can actually just do say like an email a day. Heck, you could even have ChatGPT help you out with it just to get it moving along much quicker. But if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to test out GetResponse, I will leave my link in the description where you can get a completely free account. Of course, you can always upgrade if you want to get some more goodies, but you can at least start there. My name is James. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.